Francis Glass, Wita Ge Orgi E. Washingtoni E. Episode 7. Awia Tawiqua Angli Erant, Pater Autem Virginiensis, Qui Uxora Priora Fatis Abrepta, Alteram Duxit, Equa Witam Ac Capit Washingtonius. His grandparents, Awi, and his great grandparents were English, Angli Erant. So Awi, Atawi, and Angli. These are all masculine, plural, and nominative, as they are the subjects of erant. And erant is the third plural, imperfect indicative active of esse. His grandparents and great-grandparents were English, but Autem, his father, Virginiensis, was from Virginia. He was a Virginian. Pater is nominative, masculine, singular, as is Virginiensis, masculine, singular, nominative. And now we have a qui clause, relative clause, who, meaning the father, uxora abrepta, when his wife was taken away, his first wife, uxora priore, taken away by the fates, fatis, in other words, when she died, he married another, alteram duxit, a second. So uxora, priore, and abrepta, these are all feminine, singular, and ablative, because this is an ablative absolute. Uxor uxorus is a third declension feminine noun, like so, uxor uxorus, and abrepta is from the third conjugation io verb abripio abripere, like so. When his first wife was taken away by the fates, fatis, he married duxit, a second one, alteram duxit. Duxit is the perfect form of the verb duco ducere, which is a third conjugation. And the Latin expression to marry someone is ducere in matrimonium, to lead into a condition of marriage, ducere in matrimonium, like so. And of course, it's to lead someone, aliquem, and thus alteram is the object. This portion in matrimonium is simply left out because it's understood. So he married his second wife, alteram duxit, from whom aqua, and the antecedent of qua, is alteram, and qua is feminine singular, and ablative, it's a relative pronoun, from whom Washington, Washingtonius, that's the subject of the relative clause, masculine singular nominative, meaning George Washington, from whom Washington took his life, witam ak capit, that is, he was born, from whom he derived his origin, you might say. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the lesson, please press the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and leave a comment.